we're here at the Cloud Velox booth at VMworld 2017. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and also what the company is showing here at VMworld? Sure. Uh, my name is Rajiv Chavda. I'm a co-founder and chief product officer at Cloud Velox. And here at VMworld 2017, we are showing off our product which helps enterprises take their existing workloads running the data center, migrate it to VMC, which is VMware Cloud on AWS, just got announced uh, on Monday in a, in a pretty big way. Uh, so what the company does is we are a software company and we build software platform which allows enterprises to take their workload, move or protect that between data centers and clouds. And what that means is you could have workload running in your data center based on a policy. You could decide to move it to VMC or you could move it to native AWS. And then tomorrow, based on a different policy if you like, you could migrate it back to the data center. So this is a very risk-free approach to decide where the workload should be running based on the appropriate policy, which could be cost, performance, uh, uh, security, and so on. Right. And what would you say are some of your differentiating factors uh, versus your competitors? So uh, that's actually a great question. So first of all, we've taken an approach which is very application-centric. And there's a number of unique things which our software platform provides. I'll just name uh, a handful of those. So first thing is our approach is tied to an uh, application blueprinting approach. What that means is we can look at the workload characteristics running in the source location, and then we bring it up in the destination location, we try to match up with the equivalent services. And this is very, very important because you're not just trying to do image conversion, you want to be able to create the application environment which matches where the, where the workload is running. The second aspect is you want to really pay attention to networking. So we have a very, very uh, customizable way to uh, set up the networking on the destination side. So you could decide if you want to recreate the network structure, you want to map it to a different network structure, or fit into an existing network structure. And lastly, I'll say uh, one thing right from day one, you know, we had the goal of making it very, very simple. So it's an intuitive user experience, a very simple drag and drop experience to either migrate or protect workloads between data centers and clouds. Great. And being a cloud company, uh, where do you see the future of cloud and virtualization heading? Oh, that's a great question. So, look, when we founded the company, our belief was it's going to be a multi-cloud uh, and a hybrid cloud world. And what you're seeing in, in, in uh, this VM world and over the last uh, few months is becoming more and more real where people are beginning to realize that the workloads are going to be running either in the customer-owned data centers or in public clouds such as AWS. VMC makes it relatively easier to not take advantage of public clouds. So, so our belief is as the time progresses, the workloads are going to be running in some location and you're not going to worry about where the workload is running because you have the workload portability between one location and the other location. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with us uh, about that. Is it possible for us to get a demo? Absolutely, thanks for having me. So let's walk over to the station and then uh, I'll show you the demo. So what are you going to show us? So I'm going to show you our software platform. We'll connect to the management console. And as I mentioned, we have a single solution which allows you to either move or protect workloads. So I'm going to take the migration use case. And the migration use case, you can migrate workload from the data center to the cloud, uh, between the clouds, cloud to the data center, or between the data centers. In this example, I'm going to pick workload which is running in uh, data center and try to move it to uh, another v VMware virtualized data center, VMC or some other data center. Okay, great. So let's switch over to the management console. And as you can see, uh, it's a very simple uh, ex user experience and you group a bunch of machines together which form the workload. And one thing which is very important uh, to know here is we work with both physical and virtual workloads. So here you could have systems running in uh, one part of your lab, which are physical systems, some other production systems might be running in different parts of the data center. You can group them all together and form, uh, form an application. 
And this is, again, going back to the unique concepts which I explained, this is a very, very application-centric concept. So here, this application is made up of three servers. And again, you don't have to fill up any forms or do anything. We figure out what the operating system is, how many vCPUs, memory, and so on. Uh, and once you have the app, you essentially then decide a launch profile which you're going to use for migrating it or protecting it. So I'm going to now switch over. So here, the launch profile is trying to tell our software platform when this application is to come up in, in a different data center or VMC. So here, as this application is made up of three servers, web, a DB, and a bastion host to, to get into the, to, to the, to the application. And what we are saying is we're going to take this application and, and move into uh, either a different data center or, or VMC, uh, VMware Cloud on AWS. So here, you get to decide uh, you know, what data center this application is going to run in. So you have a choice, and you can decide which data centers to pick. So in this place, we only have one data center configured. Within the data center, you get to decide which cluster you want to use. And within the cluster, you have the flexibility of deciding which host this application needs to go on. So once you've decided, and then of course on that host, you may have multiple data stores, then you get to decide which data store you want to uh, put, the, put the VMs. And that's pretty much it. And uh, what you have is besides deciding the, the data center, the host, the data stores, then you get to decide which network this application is going to be placed on. So if you had multiple networks here, you, they will all show up in the list, and you'll get to decide which network you want to put this application on. And the beauty of this software, again, is you don't have to fill up any forms. It's all done automat with, in a very, very, very autonomous fashion. So this is automated way of migrating workloads from one location to the other location. So let me show you, once uh, launch profile is set up, some of the other things which you capture. So there is the storage for each system. You can see, you know, we figured out what, how much the disk space is, how much is used, what the sync status is, and the same thing for networking. So, okay. So then. The very fact that you know, our software uses the application blueprinting approach, not only we know about the, uh, the, the CPU, memory, and storage characteristics, we also know the networking characteristics. So we know what subnets the application is running on, what individual IP addresses the machines have. So all of this is captured through our software and you don't have to provide any information. So once this is all done, the only thing you have to do is go and go back to the migration page and click on the, the migrate button. So what's going to do is now create a duplicate of this application in your desired destination location. Right now we're waiting for the migrate page to come. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. And you click migrate. And once you click migrate, it's going to have a confirmation screen. And voila, you have a duplicate of this application running in uh, in the in the uh, destination location. In this case, it's, it's a VMware virtualized data center. And that's pretty much it. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to uh, give us a demo, and uh, we hope you have the, a great rest of your show. Likewise. Thanks for having me.